jumped up onto the wheel arch of the trailer, didn't realise that the mesh of the trailer it wasn't proud with the bar and so there was a little bit sticking up and it got caught in my rings as I jumped down and the trailer was a lot higher. So of course the momentum of jumping down and tearing. I remember looking down at it and thinking, oh, I've done something pretty bad here and then I just grasped hold of it and said to my dad, we need to get going straight away to a &E. Hi, my name is Sarah Payne. I live in Carterton. In 2017, I had an accident with my ring finger on my left hand, and from there, life changed considerably for me. I was internally starting to panic a bit, wasn't it? Sarah, no, that I was being sort of stoic and saying, don't worry, it's going to be fine, we're going to get through this, but I was concerned. They did their first surgery um, where they take a skin graft and, a, and they took a vein from my foot. So that the idea was drawing the blood through so that it continues to help the new veins work. When they decided to remove the finger, there was a huge amount of relief. Even though I lost my finger, it meant I was going to go home. It was a very disruptive time for the whole family, but mostly just because we had such deep concern of making sure we can get through what was next. I really struggled in the beginning, looking, I'd have people come to visit and they'd have their lovely wedding rings on and they'd have their finger and I'd, I did feel a sense of grief and loss from losing it because I wanted to be able to wear my rings on the hand it was intended for, on the finger it was intended for. But only in the last few months I've started wearing them again. The key things were obviously the financial support, the, the physio and then having the case manager and without those I would have felt quite alone. Being able to go and have physical therapy that's either free or discounted because ACC pay for it is amazing. There could be people who are in a position that can't actually afford to not have that support. So we're really lucky, I think, in New Zealand to have that. I think as mums, we actually need to learn to stop, you know, once or twice in the day and take a deep breath. Focus on what's right in front of us and learn to just slow down. Nothing is that important that you have to rush and then the moment of inattention can change your life with an accident because you weren't thinking because you were so busy thinking five steps ahead. It's taken four or five years to actually get to the point of recovery in terms of mentally being in a place where she could say she's at peace. Like anything, she's gone through that grief curve, but when she comes back out the other side, she comes back very strong. Through my accident, I have learnt to find the more positives in life and I'm definitely a glass half full kind of person these days.